Well guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this playlist thus far. I hope we've got your reel running smooth again. Um, and to make sure that you don't run into this problem again where you have to wait on parts or even reference this video, why not have some parts on hand? Now, don't be overwhelmed by what I've got on hand because A, I'm sponsored by Muzzy. B, um, this is kind of my thank you for being able to do these videos for you guys at home. And C, I take everything over the top. So here's my go-to list and things that you guys probably ought to keep at home. All right. A number one, the number one part that you should keep at home is a couple of main gears. Your XD40, okay, your main gear, it goes in every single reel and you just never know when you're gonna either blow out an AR paw, tear off some teeth, um, wear some teeth down, whatever, okay, four and a half bucks, something like that. Keep a handful of them around. On a quick fix, what I like to keep in the boat, this is a full rotating assembly, and XD3A is the part number, okay? Not only is the, the roto assembly, but it also has a carrier assembly, which is a carrier roller and a pickup pin in it, okay? You break a pickup pin. Well, you know, that's what it's designed to do, but if you work your reel too hard, you break up a pickup pin, your night's not over don't have to take time to you know take a reel off or whatever unscrew the cap unscrew the roto assembly that's got the broken pickup pin on it grab a new one out of your box roll it on there put the cap back on you're fishing again okay that's a lot faster than swapping a reel out in most situations so xd3a let's uh let's look in this other box See what I've got over here. So when you think about things that are wear items or things that are going to, you know, be worth their weight in gold when it comes down to making sure one of these run properly. You've heard me say shim, 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 right? Here you go, guys. The XD51, okay? Here's a bag of them. Um, I'll also post a link um, for a place on eBay where you can get a bunch of these as well. Um, XD51 is the main gear shim. You figure every reel is going to take two or three of them. I, I would, you know, these are like 30 cents a piece. Go ahead and get a bunch of them. All right. Now here's your carrier rollers. Your carrier roller is XD4. Okay. This is the roller that goes on the back of the pickup pin. If you've got some old XDs, some ones that are wore out, and when you go to go to reel the reel in, like this one here, you hear that, that positive click, okay? If you reel your reel and it just goes whoop, 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 and then finally goes in there, well, chances are that your carrier roller has got a flat spot. This little 15 cent plastic piece is what's keeping your reel from working properly. No big deal. Go ahead, keep a couple of those on hand, okay? Well guys, that's kind of my rundown on the parts that you should probably keep on hand. Not necessarily with you at all times, but hey, you break down on Friday night, it sure would be nice to have a handful of parts to fix your reel. That way you can go fishing on Saturday night, right? If mama will let you, uh-huh. <laughs> Guys, I hope this video has been everything to you that it has been to me. I love this stuff. I love representing this company. I love giving all of you the information that you need to shoot more fish. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share this video with somebody who needs a little help with their equipment, and I'll see you guys on the water. Thanks for joining me.